Okay, guys, the 30-minute break is up. We are in North Dakota, exit one. I just left a rock here, uh, the Flying J. So let's get going. It is July the 12th. It's 27 degrees Celsius, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> uh, anybody know how to change your dashboard on the, on the Peterbilt? Let me know. Please let me know. I'd really like to get off the metric system. And uh, it's done it twice. It just flipped over by itself. And I don't remember how I got it fixed the first time. But it's getting ready to rain, I believe. Let's see if we can outrun it. I think it's coming from the west. So I should be able to outrun it pretty handily. But if I don't, you can get wet with me. We'll get wet and wild. We have, it's been a month since we've done a live feed, so maybe I'll get back into it. Taking off work really put a dent in my, in my creative juices, I guess you can say. I don't know why, but it did. And the girl's not being a much of a helpful hand, you know, helping me to, to, to get back inspired. But I'm going to, don't worry. I'll, I, I feel like I'm letting myself down on the job if I don't get it done. We're going to burn some fuel heading across here because today is Friday and I don't, I can't deliver till Monday, but I still want to get the miles down a little bit. We have 1,298 miles to go to, where am I going? I think it's Monroe, Ohio. So it's just like 30 miles north of Cincinnati. I fully intended to, um, take the, take the a, a day off in Cincinnati and do moto vlogs but since since my ramp broke I'm gonna have to take the day off in Cincinnati and fix my ramp that's very important being able to load that thing on a ramp a power ramp is just special it's just 100% special you've seen that in the introduction to the other videos the last couple of days probably uh, you want to see more of it just Go over there and subscribe to the Tobar channel or to the Princess Prissy Pants channel and, and we'll be, you know, moto vlogging away over there. Heck, I'll put a link right here in the description or in the above, right? You know, I'll put an arrow pointing up and then I'll put a thing there that says moto vlogs. Hey, just so you know. Today is the beginning of the Iowa 80 Jamboree and I really thought about going down there and doing a drive-by and throwing out suckers and candy or whatever you do but uh, I decided against it I don't know why for some reason I think these trucker shows are just so over they're just full full of everybody and everything and we will be going to Dallas but I just can't see going to Iowa 80 this year I don't see any any long-range benefits of it anyway but if I can ever think of a benefit, you can you can damn well bet I'll be there to capitalize on it. The lady flu has done come and struck us down again. Uh, you saw in the, in the other day in the other video, Mama cooked me some breakfast, right? I appreciated it, but the lady flu snuck up on me this time, and usually I I keep pretty good track of it. I lost track of time. Being off from work for a damn month. And somebody said something about they had a problem with us before and their problem was that we never went home well we, we took off the whole month of January and part of the month of February and we were just off another what a month and we'll be off again in December and we'll be off again in September that you know for two weeks each time that's another month actually I think we get a lot of time off we just spend a lot of time on the road uh, at one time, so we've been we've been ac actually back out for a little over well just a week now, a week today I think, 
and like I said, it's July the 12th, and we're not going to go back home until probably September the 29th or something. July, let's see, August, September. So was that two and a half months that we're going to be out? Oh, that's not too bad. I, I, in this truck, it's not a hardship at all to, to stay out. Hell, in the old truck, it wasn't a hardship for us to stay out. Not not when you like like your life. You might notice we've been running across um, North Dakota up here quite a bit. <clears throat> I'll come this way if I know that that I'm going to time time my modes of travel to where I get hit the Chicago area at nighttime. Otherwise, I wouldn't be going this way. But hey, I, I've been enjoying it. It's freaking chilly up here. I was. Gonna, like I, I, in, my, in my moto vlog, I was saying I was going to ride in, 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 in St. Louis. Damn, my, my, my mouth's not working. In Seattle. And then we didn't, I didn't get to do much riding in Seattle because they had a direct turnaround. So we put this load on and, and came right back. But I knew I wasn't going to be delivering in, in Cincinnati until Monday, although I could have delivered Saturday if I'd wanted to waste the fuel, and I don't want to waste the fuel. So I thought, well, we might ride in Minneapolis, but they're expecting rain there today or tomorrow. Now, I can still get the Grom off of, off of here and ride it easy enough, or she can. But it'll be just as simple to get on back over there. And I'll probably have to throw a tarp over over the lift and work on it with all the rain that's coming in. So I think there's a hurricane coming in down in Texas. So that's going to send some moisture up to the Ohio Valley. So you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get wet. But you'll probably be getting wet too. You'll just be in your truck driving down the road. But you'll be in the same rain. What they say? The rain falls on the just and the unjust alike. Well, hell, the rain, in the trucking world, the rain falls on just about everybody. No matter how you look at it, we all end up driving through the same rainstorm, usually. If you're in the Midwest or Northeast, that same rain is going to be hitting everybody just on a different day. If you've never had a good look at North Dakota, have a look around. This is North Dakota. I used to, it used to be funny, but when I first came up here back years ago, all of these little hills are buttes, right? I guess that's how you say it, is butte. But they're little buttes. And it's like, I, I say, when God was constructing the, yeah, constructing the world, this is where he dumped his dirt at. You know, he just backed up over here and dumped a payload of dirt. Backed up over to the left and dumped a payload of dirt. And they're not mountains. They're just strangely formed earthen structures. I, I don't know why they're there. It's kind of strange. When I was back at the Flying J, I, I got me a new cup of coffee. That's much appreciated. I got me some of that Peruvian coffee that I like so much. And I took Walter out for a walk. Walter has not ever become... All the other dogs, they can go all day, right? They'll take a go a 10-hour shift. They don't need to go out. Just hammer down. Walter needs to go out twice a day. He's never had an accident in the truck or did anything like that. He's a good boy. But what he does is he starts he starts going from door to door and tagging the door with his nose and he'll tag your leg with his nose. He lets you know when he has to go out. So at, at least five hours into a trip, he's ready to go. He finally finished up all his antibiotics last night where he got that tick bite on his leg. I didn't even know that dogs got the same problems with ticks as we do but apparently they do uh, he had a big old bullseye on the side of his right rear hind quarter on the inside flank of it and uh, it was a perfect telltale symbol of a tick bite that was infected with that germ or bacteria or whatever it is they transmit I'm not going to get all technical about it I'm not too worried about it we gave him the antibiotics, and I took the antibiotics, and I feel a lot better now in all respects, except for my motivation to make videos is just not rocking me right now. 
Oh my God, I think I just received like fourth degree burns in my mouth. There's no reason to have coffee that's 180 degrees. What the hell is wrong with Flying J? Damn, that's messed up. Well, it looks like we successfully outran the storm. It's still back there behind us, but it's not gonna give me a trouble. I have not looked at the forward facing radar, so I don't know what's going on further across here to the east. But I know it's supposed to rain in the Hoa Valley, so that kind of tells you what's gonna run into. I promise I will get back on point, guys. And I will get this thing going and get back into it. Yeah. You fake it till you make it, right? Arr. That's all I gotta do. I'll get back into it here right now. You won't even know that I missed a beat. Hell, by this time tomorrow, before this vlog is out, I'll done did another live feed and be getting back into it at a gallop. Onward and outward. Full speed ahead and all that good stuff. We'll talk to you guys later. Be safe.